Now the properties of the waves. We have uh, different properties of the wave. When the wave is passing or uh, striking a surface, it can reflect. It can refract. It can diffract. It can interfere. And it can diffract or it can be polarized. Pol but polarization is not valid for all type of waves. It is only for transverse waves. Transverse waves can be polarized. Longitudinal waves cannot be polarized. The first property is reflection. We discussed yesterday. I give you an overview of this. So the term reflection here refers to when the wave strike the surface, it bounces back, it changes the direction, and this property is known as reflection. So the wave which strike the surface, this is a reflecting surface. The wave which strike the surface is known as an incident. The wave which bounces back after striking a surface that is known as the reflected. Imaginary line which is perpendicular or 90 degree to the surface that is known as normal. And according to law of reflection, the angle between the incident and the normal it will be equal to angle between the normal and the reflected. This one is called incident ray. The other one is known as reflected ray. If you draw the wave fronts, wave fronts represent identical points of the wave. The only thing which changes during a reflection is the direction. So direction of the wave changes. The second property is refraction. The term refraction means property of a wave to change speed when travel from one medium to another. So as it moves from one medium to another, the speed changes. So for this one, example, if you're talking about the water waves, because we can have different scenarios, we can have a water wave traveling from one medium to another, we can have sound waves traveling from one medium to another, or we can have light waves traveling from one medium to another. If you're talking about the water waves, the two medium for water waves one is a deep, another one is shallow. Example, you have a sound waves. For sound, you can have two medium example, an air is, the wave is traveling from gas to solid. And you have light. It light is traveling, example, from air to glass or air to water. When we compare the speed for water waves in deep, it is faster and in shallow, it is slower. When we compare the sound waves, the sound waves are traveling faster in solid or a dense medium. And they're traveling slower because sound required a medium to travel. So they're traveling slower in rarer medium. 
and for light light travel faster through a vacuum 3 exponent 8 meter per second which is all about electromagnetic radiation so in in air it will travel faster and it is slower in denser medium so when we sketch here the wave fronts as the wave fronts are traveling from for water waves example the wave fronts are traveling from deep to shallow sound also the wave fronts are traveling from say gas to solid and for water or uh, for light also it is traveling from air to glass so when we compare the speed because as we know as the water waves travel from deep to shallow shallow region is having a higher density so the, they will lag behind or slow down the wavelength will decrease speed will decrease but the frequency remain unchanged but for sound opposite will happen because sound travel faster in solid so the part of the wavefront which are in a solid they will travel faster as compared to part in a air or a gas and for light the same thing happen light travel slower in denser medium so it slow down or it will also lag behind so and all these properties this is these are showing a refraction so this is also a refraction the wave changes its speed sound waves also changes the speed or light waves also changes the speed so change in speed depending on the type of the wave as well as the density of the medium so sound waves when you compare not bending towards bending away from normal these waves are bending towards like if i show the direction of the wave because the direction of the wave is always 90 degree to the wave front so it is bending towards the normal but when we compare the sound waves they bend away from the normal as the wave speed increases so simple idea if the speed increase it will bend away and if speed decreases it will bend towards the normal Then how we define a term interference, the term interference means combination or superposition of two or more waves. So when two or more waves combine together, they mix with each other they give rise to another wave and we call this as superposition example if these are the two waves and these two waves mix with each other you can see crest mix with crest and the trough mix with trough so what they will do they will enhance or they will increase the effect of each other so as they increase the, or enhance the effect of each other as a result what we will see we'll see a loud or a high pitch or a wave not about pitch a wave of higher amplitude so this is interference and what we call this interference we call this interference as constructive interference like the two waves enhance the effect of each other 
give rise to a wave of higher amplitude but it can also be other way around if two waves the crest of the one is joining with the trough of the other so they may cancel out the effect of each other so if they try to cancel out it can be completely cancel out the effect of each other or the amplitude of the wave might decrease so when they try to reduce the effect of each other this is also an interference but this type of interference it might produce no wave or it might produce a wave but with a lower amplitude what we call this interference we call that as destructive interference so there are two types of interference constructive interference or destructive interference if two waves combine with each other and cancel out the effect of each other we call destructive they destroy each other and two waves enhance the effect of each other construct each other so we call that as constructive interference and you have uh, observed these type of interference like example a very common if you are say in a arena or you are watching a football match if everyone is saying the same word as a result what you will or as a result what you will observe you will observe a loud sound so why there is a loud sound because that is due to the interference and constructive interference is it clear the concept of interference now to understand the interference or the condition for constructive and interference constructive and destructive interference we define we explain it interference in two terminologies to explain this idea what we call we use the term phase difference and we use the term part difference phase difference means in terms of angle when we compare the change in the angle we call that as a phase difference a part difference when we compare their wavelength or a distance we call that as a part difference i'll continue this explanation because uh, let's a minute or two left so i'll share another link and complete this discussion of interference.